uh, this is the last problem that I will be solving uh, for this particular topic. Okay, so this is your problem number 11. Okay, and uh, so let me start this. Uh, let me start the solution for this problem by uh, starting with the front view over here. Okay, as usual, what I will do is I will first draw a reference line and uh, mark a point from where I want to start. Okay, this is the point. So now so this particular uh, in the front view the two dimensions that you are able to see is the length and height so you can see that the length is 75 and the height of this one so it is exactly the same as this one it is uh, 45 and the total breadth is 60 mm okay so i am going to start with the front view at, at this particular point so i can see a vertical line of 10 mm so what i am going to do is i have just drawn a vertical line of 10 mm and after that I have a horizontal line over here so that horizontal line distance is 24 mm so here what I am going to do is I am going to draw 24 mm like this okay and after this uh, in the front view I am not able to see any horizontal line like this that means the line from here will be inclined okay so to know that one uh, what I will do is since I know that the entire length is 75 and one more important point is uh, what are the three views that we are able to see here okay this is the front this is the top and this is the left side view okay since this is the left side view that is why it is there on the right side of the front view okay uh, so here that's why uh, I am taking uh, this end as the front view then uh, this particular portion becomes your left side view okay so whatever that is shown over here that should be seen from so this particular from this particular end okay so now I started the figure by drawing the vertical line of 10 mm and after that a horizontal line of uh, since that is a horizontal line here so I am drawing it at an inclination of 30 degrees and after this uh, um, I have an inside distance of uh, uh, something I have so which I can see in the side view here so which is nothing but 8 mm so if you draw a 45 degree line over here and if you try to uh, uh, join the uh, join the projection lines like this this particular line so will 100% match with this particular line okay so from there I can see that uh, that particular distance is nothing but 8 mm okay so what I am going to do here is before drawing that 8 mm so one important thing uh, what I want to do over here is so since I know that this entire length is 75 mm so from here to here so I am trying to mark uh, uh, a line distance so from this point to this point so it is 75 mm okay at 75 mm I have a height of 45 mm okay so this one I know so a vertical distance of 45 mm so now what I am going to do is uh, so from here so I am going to draw uh, let me draw a vertical so what is this vertical distance I don't know okay but uh, let me just draw a reference line which is definitely needed for this particular problem so like this okay so a reference line and uh, now what I can do is so once if I draw a vertical line over here so this particular vertical line is nothing but so this vertical line what you are seeing here okay and uh, this particular vertical line so I can join it by means of an so dark line like this and uh, so this is what I have completed till now so this particular uh, Sepsoidal kind of uh, shape and after this if you come to the top view it is having some inside portion of 8 mm like I have discussed now so what I am going to do is I am going to just draw 8 mm inside and after this another 27 mm like this so another 27 mm like this and after this another 8 mm okay and after this uh, another uh, vertical distance so here that vertical distance will definitely uh, definitely be dependent uh, upon this particular line okay so from this end uh, this particular line is nothing but uh, it is equal to 24 so if you draw that one and if you just join this one with this one okay and uh, if you join this one with this one so this particular block is completed now so this particular block what you are seeing here is nothing but this particular block 
and the remaining the middle portion so to get that middle portion what i will do is since this vertical distance uh, now i know over here so the same vertical distance i will try to draw over here and i will join this line with this one okay and uh, similarly a line at the bottom will be parallel to this one okay so the one which you are seeing over here okay so that line i am i am trying to draw over here so it will be exactly like this okay now what i am uh, what i what i want to do is uh, uh, coming to the side view at the bottom what i have i have uh, a block which is uh, 60 by 10 okay i already have my uh, 10 mm block over here so now what i am going to do is i am going to draw 60 mm like this and uh, another 60 mm like this okay so this particular uh, block which is seen in the left side view is completed and uh, after this so what i need to do is coming back to the top view okay so i am at this particular point so first uh, what i have done here so first uh, after marking 10 mm i have gone inside at 24 mm so this particular uh, line and after this this horizontal line is 24 and uh, uh, sorry 27 and another uh, horizontal line of 24 okay that is done and uh, this is the particular vertical line which you are seeing in the front view over here so that means in the top view it will appear as a point that means i am at this particular point so after this uh, this particular distance is related to the breadth okay so what i will do is i will try to draw a parallel line to the breadth so that is 24 mm and after this i have some gap so to understand uh, what is the distance of that particular gap so you have a total distance of 60 mm in that 24 24 it is 48 so the remaining gap is 20 uh, sorry 12 okay so that means i am going to leave 12 mm over here and i am going to draw another so 24 mm okay like this and after that i am going to join this line with this one so which completes this particular line so in the top view okay so though it is an uh, though it is appearing like a horizontal line so it is actually an inclined line over here okay so now uh, what about this particular slot that we are seeing here so if you draw lines or uh, lines from here you can see that this particular slot is having a depth of 8 mm so that's why what i will try to do here is from here i am trying to draw 8 mm okay and this particular block inside distance it is not clearly mentioned in any of these uh, views over here so uh, in this particular uh, top view so what you can see here is uh, since this is 24 it may be somewhere around 20 mm so what i am going to do is so from here i am going to draw uh, a distance of uh, 20 mm like this and uh, i am trying to join this one with this and from here also a line like this and a line like this so which completes that particular slot so what you are uh, seeing uh, here okay so that particular slot now what is the only thing that is left out is in the top view so we are able to see some uh, 24 by uh, what is what is the dimension of this one uh, so this is uh, uh, breadth is 24 and what about the length so the length is uh, uh, it's like a horizontal line from over here okay okay we'll try to draw that one and uh, one more thing is this inside distance is not also not mentioned properly in the problem okay so let us assume this particular distance as 10 mm so from here you have to move inside 10 mm and from there from this particular end uh, so you have to uh, leave uh, 13 mm so after that uh, you have to uh, draw 24 mm and uh, after that what you have to do is so you have uh, the height of that particular uh, one as 15 so from here 15 and from here 15 you have to draw and after that you can join it like this and uh, after that uh, at the bottom so you can see that uh, there is an inclined line like this and uh, at the top you can see that there is a line which is parallel to the uh, length line so these are the length lines these are the length lines what you are seeing so just try to draw a line like this okay so which is parallel to this one and from here just try to draw a line like this which joins at some particular point 
so this particular line which i have drawn just now it should be definitely parallel to this so inclined line okay uh, why i am saying this is this particular line is merged with this one okay so here the line which i have drawn here just now this particular line merged with this one so that's why i asked you to draw so from this point to this point so you have to draw a line which is parallel to this inclined line and after this so this will be again uh, 24 mm and uh, you can join this one with uh, this one okay now this is the complete solution for your uh, problem number 11 uh, so to recap or uh, to finally conclude this one so what i want to tell you here is um, i'll just mark uh, what are the things that you'll be able to see in the front so here in the front view so you are able to see so this particular trapezoidal block so that one you are able to see here and uh, this particular triangle shape that one is also visible in the front view so it is over here and after this this particular one so which is over here and after this this particular uh, four uh, edged one four edged shape that is this one okay so your complete uh, front view is done what about this dotted line this dotted line is nothing but the slot which is there over here okay that one and uh, coming to the top view so in the top view you are able to see this uh, complete almost square kind of thing so uh, let me give into mark for this one this area this one this one and this one this one as well as this one this entire area you are able to see that entire area is represented here like this and in the top view you are able to see this area also so which is nothing but uh, this particular block and uh, the remaining thing is this one so which is nothing but uh, this particular one okay and uh, coming to the side view in the side view you are able to see first uh, 60 mm by 10 mm block okay so this is nothing but your uh, 60 by 10 mm block okay and after that you are able to see a height of 15 mm okay that is nothing but uh, this particular one and uh, after this you are able to see a small shape here what is that small shape the small shape is nothing but uh, this inclined portion okay so from here if you try to draw a line draw a line which is parallel to the length so it will uh, meet somewhere below this point but here it is inclined shape that inclined shape somewhere i hope this particular this particular shape what you what i am showing here that particular shape of this uh, bigger block okay is visible like this in the side view so let me draw something over here this particular shape is also visible only that particular small shape and uh, this particular shape since it is slant over here so this particular shape is also visible in the side view with a very minimal distance that particular distance is nothing but 8 mm so with this we have completed uh, all the six problems so in the uh, top in this particular topic iso uh, sorry ortho to isometric uh, conversion okay so i know that uh, these problems are very very difficult uh, for you to understand but uh, keep practicing and uh, try to solve as many problems as possible i'll try to send uh, the solutions for this one uh, for all these figures so by seeing the solution just try to see the solution once and uh, practice it uh, uh, by closing the solution and if you get any doubt just once again open that and uh, if the doubt is there further so you can uh, mail or you can call me at any time okay thank you